what a service dog does, it, it is a, it provides assistance to someone with a disability that mitigates their disability. That makes it easier for them to move about in society. It makes it easier for them to get back into society if that's necessary. And it helps them in day-to-day -day life. How do we help that person with a disability interact in the workplace, do their job better, um, anything like that? Can the dog help? Can you help as the employer help so that that person can express themselves to their fullest uh, ability? An example would be retrieving. If you're in a wheelchair and you drop something, you don't necessarily want to rely on a person to pick it up for you. You want some independence so the dog can pick it up for you and give it to you. Uh, these dogs are can change lives. They, they really do. They, they can change a person's life. They can give them independence. They can uh, be a security blanket, but they can also be a huge help. One thing for the public to remember is that they are working and that to please leave them alone. Please don't pet them without asking. Please respect that person's individuality and that they can walk through, say, the commissary and shop just like you can without being bothered. <laughs> they also are a friend to someone, right, Julia? We're coming to the, to the barracks in another week and a half uh, to describe and show what she can do. To see service dogs like Julia and demonstrations of modified sports equipment for individuals with disabilities, please join us for our annual National Disability Employment Awareness Observance, Tuesday, 31 October, beginning at 11 a.m. in the courtyard of Root Hall. Immediately following that, Dr. Rory Cooper will give a noontime lecture in the Will Washko Auditorium. Dr. Cooper is a nationally known expert and innovator in the field of rehabilitative science and technology. His discussion will be an opportunity to learn about enabling those with disabilities in the workforce. 